Uh, hey friends, this session is about the uh, quantitative techniques for business and finance and this uh, a small uh, video is based on uh, what we have in this uh, course uh, which is given by the Indian Institute of Banking and Finance. It's a certificate program known as the quantitative techniques for business and finance. Now, uh, Indian Institute of Banking and Finance uh, it's one of the biggest uh, institutes with uh, more than 650 institutional members and over 2.5 uh, uh, like individual members. So it's uh, it's one uh, it's the largest institute of its kind and it has the flagship courses of uh, JI, JAIIB and CAIIB. But this session would be about this uh, quantitative techniques for business and finance and uh, I'm not a teacher actually I'm giving this exam so I thought uh, to share about this course, what we have as the syllabus, and to uh, talk about how uh, you can move in and prepare for this course. So this course uh, is given by the IIBF. It has got basically four parts to it. Uh, the first part is the time value of money. Uh, the second class is the differential calculus, and the third class is the statistical measure. The fourth class is the probability theory, and each class is followed by uh, the application in the finance. Now I have tried to link down the syllabus of this course to the CFA exam as well so that uh, when you do it uh, uh, you uh, virtually kind of uh, prepare for the CFA as well and it, it benefits you in that aspect. So uh, the classes, uh, uh, I have recorded some classes, it's available on Visic and I'll try to take again the classes uh, but I'll be uh, taking CFA classes in the near future. So this course is divided into four sessions. Each session contain, uh, contains the maths followed by the finance. And I have tried to uh, draw the linkages to the CFA quantitative and the uh, CFA fixed income topics, these two topics. The text for this book is uh, this one, The Quantitative Methods for Banking and Finance by A.S. Ram Shastri. It's a Macmillan publication. The exam date for this year is 12th June 2001. Now myself, I am Shivgan Joshi. I am the moderator of this class. Uh, I, I am an engineer by background, I don't have much of a knowledge about finance so I thought to enroll in this course and uh, improve my knowledge on the quantitative finance. Uh, I'm looking for some people to help me uh, to take the study sessions and to take this uh, moderating work for the study groups and the virtual classes. Uh, the, this is the class schedule of this course of the classes which uh, I, I plan to take, some of them I have already taken. So the first class is about introduction, then we have the 1 to 4 covering all the 4 areas, revision and then the final words. Uh, now as I told you it's about 4 units, the first unit is time value of money. Uh, it has got uh, 3 types of numericals which we see in this certification program. The first is project evaluation, then the bond evaluation, the interest rate risk and the questions on bond evaluation and numericals on net present value. Uh, the, the content of this uh, uh, this certificate can be linked down to study session 2 and 3, the quantitative methods of the CFA and the 15 and 16 on the fixed income, that's uh, more or less about the bonds. Uh, the project uh, evaluation from a CFA point of view, it's, uh, it's uh, reading uh, 34. Uh, in, in, in this exam, in this certificate exam, it uh, is more about the fixed income, uh, about the net present value uh, uh, and the uh, uh, and the methods to calculate the net present value when we have got a different cash flows as well as uh, the net uh, uh, present value of the bonds. In the bond uh, evaluation we have uh, these four terms which are often seen and the uh, questions of them, the uh, internal rate of return, the interest rate risk, the yield to maturity and the zero coupon bonds. Uh, there are some uh, uh, questions which require uh, uh, the weighted average thing for the zero coupon bonds and uh, the weighted average to find out the interest rate risk. Uh, now, uh, the duration of bond uh, and the immunization of portfolio, especially uh, uh, when, when it comes to uh, selection of various things, especially in the bond uh, and the fixed income part. So, uh, th that's a part of the interest rate risk for uh, this exam. The second uh, unit is about the differential calculus. We have got some mathematical aspects and uh, four application of these mathematical except. The first is the modified duration of a bond. So. Uh, uh, as the duration changes, the, f uh, the value uh, and the yield changes, so it's, it's about that aspect. Then we have the average and marginal cost uh, where uh, 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 we look at the uh, variables as well as the uh, constant uh, costs that we have. Then we have the elasticity and optimization. The modified duration is uh, all about price of the bond and it's about the rate of change of price with respect to yield. Uh, the average and marginal cost uh, 
it's about uh, uh, how uh, the things uh, and uh, how the cost varies when uh, we have uh, an x which is a variable which is the number of uh, uh, goods that we are making and then we have the elasticity and optimization which is uh, more or less about the revenue optimization the third unit talks about the statistical measures and it's one of the biggest unit uh, of the four and it, it talks about expected return, average of ratios, risk, average growth, portfolio diversification, beta, performance evaluation. Uh, so expected return, it's about the stock and it's quite simple, straightforward application, swap is again uh, ratios and no, uh, no much uh, maths involved. The risk, it's, uh, it's uh, calculated in a way uh, by using the standard deviation uh, which is used in a way to measure the risk and the application of uh, other statistical uh, issues. Then we have the average growth rate. The portfolio diversification requires understanding of variance and covariance and the risk of uh, portfolio P is again defined in terms of uh, the different things and then we have the portfolio management. And beta is the uh, beta of the stock where the rate of stock is uh, fit in the regression model based on the index so a little bit of regression analysis is required. Then we have the performance evaluation. Uh, the optimized risk versus return, the sharp ratio and the trainer, uh, trainer's measure are the three uh, parts of this performance evaluation. Coming to the last unit of uh, this certificate program, we have the credit risk, value at risk and the, and the optimization valuation. Uh, to, to understand uh, this fourth unit, you need to know about the binomial poisons and normal distribution which are often cited. The credit risk, uh, uh, the Basel II norms uh, defines uh, three risk. Uh, the first is credit market and operation. For the credit risk, uh, we have to find out the amount at stake, whether there will be a default and the severity which is taken in mathematical functions and uh, uh, the discussions are made on to decide the home loans and to uh, understand the meaning of credit rating. Then we have the value at risk and uh, the optimization valuation a part of which can be linked down to the derivatives. So uh, this is about this course. It's uh, uh, it's named uh, Quantitative Methods for Banking and Finance. The book for this course is A.S. Ram Shastri, Macmillan, India. Uh, for the CFA, you need to refer the uh, notes provided by the CFA board. This Investopedia is quite a good site when I was looking at things. So this is about this uh, course and uh, in the near future, I'll be uh, moderating some of the uh, study sessions for the CFA and the study groups where uh, we can meet and uh, we can talk about the uh, uh, these two uh, areas to start with the quantitative and the fixed income. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, do post in your comments and your feedback uh, because that's a kind of motivation and it's quite helpful to uh, move ahead and make some more